Ugh. It's Monday. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, when should never vlog before they had their first cup of coffee in the morning. Anyway. Uh, I didn't see a theme for this week. Uh, I have awesome connects. Well, I guess I'll be four awesome connects since I'm one of them. So I'm picking the theme. And if you post a video later or send me a PM, maybe we can work this in as part of the theme. Today is Natal Day in my part of Canada, in Nova Scotia. And Natal Day is a holiday where basically you celebrate the foundation or birth of the, your hometown or the town that you're, or city that you're living in. And uh, it used to be in Nova Scotia anyway, and I think it's been in different parts of Canada that celebrate Natal Day, that there were there was no set holiday. Different towns and different cities celebrated their founding day on the day that they were founded. And so it actually really helped tourism in Nova Scotia because all of the towns and cities had different festivals going on at different times of the year. Or generally though, they uh, they were in the summertime and I don't know if that was because the city or town was actually founded in the summer or if it was more again a smart move on the local council wanting to attract tourists this made it really good for tourists uh, for people visiting Nova Scotia because there was a party in every town. Everybody was having a parade and different weekends and uh, you could basically spend maybe a month if you had that much free time and you could go from province to province and celebrate province to province, town to town and celebrate the different uh, festivals. You know, tons of parades and uh, I remember going to a lot of them, different ones, when my youth uh, with my family and also when I was in the high school band we used to perform at a lot of them and then the government Nova Scotia government changed that and they made natal day so now people have to pick and choose and I don't know if that's really uh, was really a smart move on the part of the Nova Scotia government but you know sometimes governments make mistakes I think from uh, I don't know, maybe from a bureaucratic point of view, they, you know, bureaucracies like to have things in a s standard order, generally. And maybe that was why they did it. But anyway, so now we have Natal Day. And so my question to my fellow awesome connects is, what do you like about where you live? And, you know, if you could tell me a little bit about your, where you live, that would be cool too. But what's your favorite thing? about the town or city that you live in? That's my question and theme from me for the week. So I hope nobody thinks I'm, you know, I'm a new guy. I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes, but I like the idea of a theme. You know, when I made my Canada Day video, some people misinterpreted the, that, that I hate Canada. And, you know, I really don't. I don't hate Canada. But I had a hard life growing up, and you know maybe I have no one to blame but myself. Uh, wasn't growing up that my life was hard. It was when I entered the adult world that I found living in Nova Scotia very difficult. Um, Yarmouth, is which where is where I'm from, is a very small town. I think with the including the population of the county, there's only about 30,000 people. And for a young person, there's really not a lot to do. It's basically more of a senior retirement place, community, 
And the average age is probably, I would say, late 40s for most people. Uh, there are younger people who live there, of course, but generally most of the activities seem to be geared towards uh, seniors, which is fine. But, you know, when you're a young, uh, active, over-imaginative kid, it can be kind of boring. I lived there for about 18 years, and I had a lot of wonderful childhood experiences. Uh, my grandparents treated me great. Uh, my father not so much, but that's for another video. You know, my mother was always good. Uh, but just in general, um, I kind of had a rough life getting up, and I'm not going to cry and whine about it. You know, it's made me who I am today, and I think that's... Uh, that's what, uh, being a sociologist, that's what uh, I believe that our experiences more than our genetics control who we are. And uh, anyway, getting back to Natal Day, uh, it was always, uh, the town's holiday was always much bigger than Canada Day. Canada Day we never really celebrated much because again, uh, in my opinion, at least as far as Nova Scotians are concerned, we're, we don't think of ourselves on, as part of Canada first. We think of ourselves as Nova Scotia. And it's, you know, it's that regionalism that really divides Canada, in my opinion. And part of that is, it seems, that uh, Toronto and Quebec get the biggest pieces of the, the pie whenever things come to that. Uh, and I, I could spout lots of sociological rhetoric about it um, that I studied in university, that I've read online or studied more. Uh, and I really don't want to get into that. But um, our, the town holiday was always celebrated very well. Always had a big festival. The uh, always had a big festival. Always had a big parade, and we always just sort of uh, made a bigger deal of it than we did Canada Day. It was usually tied in also to our our uh, annual fish festival, and so it made it an even bigger party. And then the local uh, exhibition, part of the Nova Scotia exhibitions, would come to town. And so it was almost like a 10-day celebration. Uh, again, I, that was one of the things I really loved when I was growing up. I would go every day to the exhibition and uh, spend a lot of money, play a lot of games, and won a lot of prizes. But So I just wonder uh, how other Canadians feel. Do they feel that they are from their home province or their hometown first and Canadian second? Or is, uh, you know, is being a Canadian number one? Because again, you know, uh, I enjoy being a Canadian. I enjoy what, what that means. But ultimately, I really do. I think of myself as uh, Nova Scotia first. And I wonder if that's a good thing. Anyway, this has been uh, me, the Five Awesome Canucks. And uh, look out for tomorrow, for Tuesday, Canuck Girl 13. And have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.